Good evening. Today, I want to speak to the approximately 1.1 million persons eligible to vote in the election to be held tomorrow. At the Elections and Boundaries Commission, we have taken extraordinary steps to ensure a safe environment for you to go out and vote tomorrow. Our role is to administer this process within the bounds of the election rules, which have been passed under the Representation of the People Act. We do so by ensuring that you are able to cast your vote easily. In that sense, we have set up 2,200 polling stations and hired over 13,000 persons, all with a view to ensuring that this process passes off seamlessly. We have a long and, I would say, proud history of doing so, and tomorrow will be no different. The preparation and delivery of an election is the most complicated mobilization of a society in peacetime, and that was without a pandemic. We have consulted with a number of countries and with international organizations with a view to ensuring that the election process is as simple as possible and yet complies with all possible health guidelines. Check your poll card to see where you have been assigned to vote. This is always important. We have had to change polling stations to allow for better physical distancing. Because of that, where you voted in the last election may not be where you vote in this election. If you did not receive a poll card, you can check online or you can call one of the EBC hotline numbers. We have complied with all public health protocols in arranging this vote. While you do not have to wear a mask to vote, we are urging that you do so. When you come to the station, you please practice physical distancing on entering the station, ensure you are sanitized. Before dipping your finger in the ink, again, ensure you are sanitized. Once you do your part, and we have done our part, this will be a safe and seamless process. Those of you who are more vulnerable to the COVID-19 virus, please let the presiding officer know at the polling station and arrangements will be made for you to vote. Election campaigns are intense times and there's always the tendency, or I would say the temptation for candidates or activists or even well-wishers to sometimes push the boundaries in terms of actions on poll day. I urge you all, please don't do so. Please follow the instructions of the presiding officer and the police officers who are on duty at each station. Once you do so, this process will be a very quick process and one with no undue incident. All political parties should cease campaigning by midnight tonight. And tomorrow, no person should in any polling place or within 100 yards of a polling place carry out any sort of activity that could dissuade an elector from casting his ballot or from campaigning in that area. Therefore, please end all politicking tonight. Go out and vote early. And at 6 p.m., once you're in the line and within the limits of a polling station, you are still entitled to vote. After Monday, the country would have settled down again after a period of election campaigning. You would have voted and we would have counted. On behalf of the commissioners and myself, we again remind you of the importance of tomorrow in the life of this country. I simply ask the, all the EBC staff and temporary staff at all our polling stations throughout Trinidad and Tobago to carry out your duties fearlessly and impartially with integrity. To the candidates, we wish you all the best tomorrow. And finally, to you, the voters, we say go out and vote. It is your right and it is safe to do so. Thank you.